Joining us for this post-match press conference of the African Football League, we are joined by the head coach of Mamelo Hisan Downs, Coach Hulan Mugoina. Coach, welcome. Thank you, team. Uh, a huge congratulations, Coach. You are through to the next round of the competition. Uh, a 0-0 still late. What would you make of today's performance from the team? Yeah, let me start by greeting um, members of the media. Sorry, Coach. If I could just ask you to please speak closer to me, close to the bigger mic. That one, yes. yes. This one, yes, sir. Thank you. Speak. Mm, no, speak. Excuse me, sorry. Um, no, let me start off by greeting uh, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening. Um, yeah, it was a difficult game, um, of course, against a very good opponent. I've already mentioned how good they are. <coughs> they have a, a, a team that is very capable of, of building from the back. Uh, three centre-backs, Miguel, uh, Kimito, Pinto even very 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 aggressive uh, with the ball and very difficult to to take the ball away from them and then of course uh, when you have a player like Suarez also in the midfield who sits as a, as a pivot and connects the lines um, it becomes very very difficult uh, Megu was missing but uh, they've got so much quality with even uh, Carlinhos uh, playing and he played ex exceptionally well but okay we, we did very well i am very proud of the effort of the players to to get a red card in the first minute complicated the game a little bit but of course uh, the boys showed uh, good character and uh, a good spirit a uh, sense of brotherhood and 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 uh, i want to congratulate them and 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 um, uh, just appreciate them for their efforts and for putting the team into the semi-finals of the competition. <clears throat> Thank you, coach. Members of the media, it's an opportunity to ask questions. If you could identify yourself as well as your publication. I see your hand is up, uh, sir, in here in the front. But why we always start with you? Coach? Yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, these days. <laughs> so as I leave. Yeah. <laughs> we start with you all the time. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, thank you. No, he sets the tone. No, he puts a lot of you under pressure. No, Coach. Uh, good evening. And co yeah. Congratulations, Coach, on, on you know, pro progressing to the semi finals. Thank you, Carol. Uh, you get a red card in the second third minutes. And. Uh, I mean, the Homogoyna, immediately after that, when you watch him play, you don't see him. But when you watch the game, you see him. Yeah. And I mean, another factor that I also have to mention is about, you know, when certain players of Sundowns, players shrink under pressure and others dance under it. Oh. Is that where you are now in regards to, you know, the big match temperament games of Sundowns? And how do you get there? You know, you know if, I dil if I answer your question, I dilute it. Uh, I mean, you you put it so eloquently. You know, they dance under pressure. Um, that's why I say incredible compliments to them. An incredible. I've said this ever since. Ever since I've been here with this group, I've told you guys how honest they are, how how good they are as human beings. I'm a, I must say to you when when you heard when you hear. When I speak about uh, the environment, the culture that we try to create here, if if as a leader you you miss the opportunity to try to influence society in a certain way, <clears throat> and life happens, and if you you see it even today, you 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 go through uh, hardships. There's adversities in in each and every single one of our lives. There's difficult moments, there's, uh, there's situations that are unfair, but life is unfair. But the one thing that uh, maybe 1% would 
which is which is the most successful people in life, the one thing that they have is that they show up all the time, even in, in difficult moments and in adversity, and this is what this group has. They have the character, they have the, the fortitude to to fight and to to persevere in difficult moments and to stay together. And uh, you can only, as a coach, <clears throat> not only just appreciate, but of course uh, admire, uh, because because it teaches me about life myself. I mean, I mean, it's football. You will lose some games, you will win some games, you will miss some chances, like we do, and and and, and so forth. But what's important is how do you persevere? How do you? develop your character, what type of human being do you show because in, in those moments that's exactly the type of test that you have to pass and uh, they teach me about about how to go through difficult moments um, uh, by how they go through difficult moments on the pitch uh, and so when I face difficult moments in my life I, I, I suffer but I suffer and I still show up because they suffer and they still show up and, and this is the beauty of, 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 of being around uh, this, this incredible group of players. Thanks, um, Coach uh, Tabo ELC. Congratulations on, on advancing. Thank you, sir. Uh, and I just want to hear, I know it's only two games sure. of this competition, but uh, overall, do you, you know, your thoughts on, on it maybe becoming or benefiting African football as a whole? Thanks. Yeah, I've, uh, the, there's two parts to answer your, your question. Also, today I, I caught a glimpse of I, I watch I watch uh, properly now when I get home. But of course, I watch as a spectator <clears throat> a little bit with the, the rest of the coaches. I watched uh, the game between Simba and Al uh, earlier today. I caught up with uh, the other three fixtures. Uh, what is today, Tuesday? I think we got back Sunday, Sunday. So, so Sunday I caught up on the fixtures. So, uh, uh, there were some, in fact, there were some uh, fantastic games on Sunday. Yeah, Brighton, Man City, uh, Juventus, AC. It was unbelievable. Um, but from a football perspective, I think the standard is extremely high, and for sure, because you've got the high level players, high level coaches high level football clubs and for sure then the, the, the level is, is quite high. Uh, but I've said already that uh, when when there's uh, progress, and I think that's what this competition is about, is about trying to progress African football in a way that you can try to put it on a scale that can be as competitive as football in, in, in Europe and uh, attract the same type of and, and not just from a from a from a commercial perspective because that's also one of the, the the objectives of the competition is to make the member associations on the african continent and part of CAF commercially viable and uh, financially sustainable and self-sustainable through the investment that uh, the competition is going to make into into the member associations and not just into the teams that are participating in the competition and so there's long-reaching benefits, both in the medium and in the long term. And then you've got to give uh, huge compliments to the leadership for, for the vision and, 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 and the setup of, of, of a competition like this that is, that is a little bit complex and, and complex even from, a, from, a, from an organizational perspective. You know? So huge kudos and great great compliments to Dr. Patrice Mutsebe, uh, his executive and uh, the CAF leadership for, for, for the vision and uh, the setting up of, of what I think would be a game changer for, for, for African football. Thank you, Coach. Coach, how much adjusting did you, I mean, second minute, <laughs> you haven't seen anything in the game and then you get a red card in your head. I would think a plan A. How much adjusting did you have to do? And and I'm, I'm talking about you as a coach and the anxieties that you have now. That what if I ruin plan A? Trying to think of what these guys are gonna do because now we are menless. 
how much of that did it demand from you and what you know wh when did you know that this is the right one and also on Rivaldo Cotia coach he's been playing very well but do you feel he's been you know composed even when you had men down do you feel there's a maybe a level higher that he can still go to a point where he can maybe even see be seen in the national team no they can all improve <clears throat> they can all improve uh, River has reached a very good level. He's been out of, of the game for quite some time because of injuries. But we, we ask of certain things from River. Uh, and that's the same. I, th I think uh, collectively, I think they were outstanding. Uh, and um, um, the level is, 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 is very, very good. The level is good, not just from River, but from all the players. But of course, as I said, they know that tomorrow there will be video clips that that show things that we could have done better. And um, and we we always have that growth mindset where we we do our corrections and we sit and we analyze and we try to to, to improve the individual performances so that we can improve the collective. Uh, in relation to how much adjusting, well, we had to adjust because we had to do what the game. When I say we are, we try to be comedians. Is exactly that. Now this season, we try to adapt to the demands of the game and, and answer the questions. And 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 um, we adapted a little bit the the formation to suit the personnel we had on the pitch but also to accommodate the the men down and and and, and try to to give them the numerical advantage in in areas where we knew they could not hurt us and and uh, but again huge compliments to the players for their adaptation and for their tactical flexibility and their ability to adhere to through tactics and and, uh, and 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 see the game through and 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 you can only do that if you've got hard working honest football players yeah thank you coach thanks Davi. um congratulations on proceeding to the next stage thanks Davi. um the feature has presented sundowns al ali mm -hmm. um match up mm -hmm. um once again mm -hmm. and and, and it's going, it's going to be very interesting and, and I would like to pick up from you in terms of what do you think of this fish and what it has become especially in the last three to four years and how far are you from at least having um, one or two strikers back because I think it's it's my view I think when you're at this stage maybe you really need I know that you can play with uh, your, your false nine mm -hmm. and you score goals with them mm -hmm. but at this stage, maybe to see it through. Um, how far are you from having at least one of them back? I hope very soon. <laughs> uh, I'm on my knees. Uh, I, bow, I bow my head every night and I, and I pray and I ask God to to perform the miracles that he's performed in the Bible. You know, you've seen Jesus Christ turn water into wine. Uh, you've seen him give power to to Moses to cross the Red Sea, and so the many miracles that he's performed. My prayer to him is just to perform one more, um, and which is to uh, just like he did also when he he raised the dead, uh, just through a mere touch. Jesus Christ. My my prayer is just that he. He resuscitates and he brings back Lucas and Peter or Tapelo as soon as we possibly can because for sure they make a big difference. And um, but again, also you've got to compliment the rest of the players that have that have come in and they've shown that they we can count on them. Gaston has done exceptionally well since his return. He showed incredible humility, but that's life, you know. You know how many uh, Gaston's story is an incredible story for all of us. We all make mistakes. Uh, but that, like he has done, when you accept that you've made mistakes and you are remorseful and you are you are, you accept your wrongs, you know, people forgive, and when we forgive, we forgive genuinely without holding any grudges, and we move on because for it's for the betterment of the club, you know, we all want to see the club win, and we want to see the club succeed, and so. 
he's been amazing Gaston and I've got to give him incredible plaudits for that and also I've got to give his teammates incredible plaudits for welcoming him back and accepting him back into the group and, and showing him the love that they've shown him and um, so yeah uh, the Alakhi fixture is, is interesting it's always interesting it's got a lot it's two good teams uh, of course, uh, they've got very, very good players. I watched, I watched a little bit uh, of their game away in Tanzania to two, uh, and and then of course you know they they've got a they've got a very special kid that I I I love so dearly uh, that I'm excited to see. So let's see. It should be an interesting game and uh, one that. Um, is two very good teams and we will do our best as always to, to try to win. Thank you, Coach. Uh, coach, uh, for, for kick off here. Uh, congratulations on, on progressing first and foremost. Um, I just wanted to touch on the red card in Mtobe Bala. Um, this is uh, the second high profile era in a row. And then you think back to the wind up game as well. These are a couple of positions that the, the, he's put you in compromising positions rather. Um, is, are we approaching a time where you're considering his inclusion in big fixtures like this? No. No, because because I've made far more mistakes than I'm Toby in my life. Far more. And, and far more costlier mistakes in my life. Of course, we will analyze, we will check, we will speak to him, for sure, like we did with uh, all the other mistakes. Like many of my players make mistakes, uh, the, I'm sounding like a, a pastor today, am I? <laughs> My goodness. The Bible says, forgive seven times, 77 times. You, you know what I mean? And if we genuinely say we love our players, the definition in the Bible of love is love keeps no account of wrongs. And so when I tell you that, yeah, I love my players, I, I genuinely mean that. And so when we make mistakes, we analyze, we check, and, 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 we, and we move on, or we try to improve. Mistakes are there, like problems, and they exist in life, because they present to you opportunities, not just for growth, but for, for learning, and for finding solutions and, and, and getting better. And so, Toby, like all the other players that play for Mamelodi Sundowns, will always receive love from from me and from the club and from everybody associated with this football club. And never will we judge, because if we start to judge, then we must be put into a space where we are judged. And how many of us, even sitting in this room, can say we are spotless and clean and er errorless? How how many? <laughs> Okay. No, 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 it's, it's, it's true. And we live in a society where we are so quick to judge others, yeah. yet we forget how sinful we are ourselves, how many mistakes we make ourselves, and yet we are so quick to judge other people, so quick. So, ex exercise a bit of kindness. And that's what this world needs a little bit more than, than the judgmental mentality. Exercise a bit of kindness, guys. Uh, there's n none of you can tell me that you work for, for your publications or previous employees and previous companies and you have made the best articles, every word you've written, you've spelled correct every single time. You've met deadlines every single time. You've arrived at work on time every single time. You've come sober to work every single day. <laughs> you can't tell me. Because life happens. Life, life happens. And when life happens, you have to deal with life. And sometimes life happens with the good. And those are the moments that you, you can't say to yourself when life gives you good moments, you are in, you are in heaven. And so, for sure, when life happens and it gives you bad moments, you can't say you are in hell. So, th this, is, this is just part of uh, the, the process of, of educating and making these football players better human beings. And the day, I'm waiting for the day, somebody says, Mina, Mina, I, Mina, Mina, Sondele Guchesu. 
Yaman u chase besi yimi ya after. Ozo mchela utiena is at that level. God bless you. Then let's judge. We should take one last question so that we can uh, let you go. Thanks, Taban. Congrats, Coach, for going through. Thank you, sir. This is so from City Press. Sure. I actually had one question, but uh, that's another one was prompted by your responses. Uh, for those. Uh, for those of us who might have missed it, what what I'm talking about the mistakes. What mistake did, did the custom make just out of interest? But my question is, uh, of course, after going through to the next round, presents you with uh, another headache in terms of your scheduling. I think if you go on to the final, I think you may play your your next league game one somewhere in December. Have you given that thought and have you, have you got contingency plans when if, if you go through to the very last round? Uh, thanks, this is a good question. When I say we are forgiven, it means exactly that. It means we've forgiven and forgotten. So to bring it up will, will not help matters much. He's part of us, we love him and uh, he's part of the family and we, we move on and we've accepted him into the, into the group. What, what was his mistake, sorry? I've forgotten. <laughs> Forgive and forget. <laughs> it's part of it's part of the process of forgiving is to forget. So forgive and forget and we move on. Um, on the fixtures, no, we have not really. What we are trying our level best to do is try to just focus on one game at a time. We understand the, the schedule, but we are trying to go one game at a time and, and try to to assist the players in, in their performances and, and um, just make sure that the group now focuses a lot on recovery. We have very little time. Um, I'm, 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 I'm less a coach and less a trainer these days. I'm more of a manager trying to manage minutes, trying to manage the players and, and their things. But that's the, that's the space that we operate in. Thank you, Coach. Unfortunately, we are out of time because of the media. We'd love to thank you, Coach. Uh, uh, coach, it's not Coach, really thank you very much for your time. Um, uh, we have to come to a close. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, members of the Coach.